morning children we are learning prime entry that's our journal entry chapter we have studied up to sum number 9 from sum number 7 7 8 9 we have learned today we are going to learn sum number 10 from your page uh, book page number 61 Raja has a hotel. The following transactions took place in his business. Generalize them. Raja is the proprietor and he is doing hotel business. January <coughs> month transactions have given. No year is available, so we can put dash for. Year. See the transaction. Look at the transaction. Jan one started business with cash rupees three lakhs. Raja had started business with three lakhs rupees. Before going to pass journal entries, we should write format. First, write the title journal entries in the books of Raja. then put question number then allot the columns like this first one date column you are doing journal entries in your single side accounts notebook so first column will be for date column then particulars then leave a small space for ledger folio number then one amount column for debit and one more amount column for credit these are the five columns you have to allot then under date column as usual we will fill the year first but here year is not available so put dash for that it jan 1 as a date here Raja started business with cash is the first transaction. So, according to our real account rule, cash comes into the business. So, cash account debtor. Then, Raja is the giver of that capital. So, to Raja's capital account according to personal account rule, to Raja's capital. Credit the giver. So, to Raja's capital account. Amount is rupees three lakhs in both sides. Write the narration. Being business started with cash. Do you understand this first uh, transaction? I mean, uh, first journal entry transaction. Jan two. Purchased goods from Rajiv on credit. One lakh. Here, Raja is purchasing goods from Rajiv. He is the supplier of Raja. He is purchasing on credit basis for rupees one lakh. When the proprietor purchases goods from others, from uh, suppliers on credit basis, good, we have to pay money for that. So purchases will be our expenses. Here we are using nominal account rule. Debit all expenses and losses. Here, name of the expenses purchases. So we have to debit purchases account. Then we have to use personal account rule. Debit the receiver, credit the giver. Here, Rajiv is the giver. So we have to credit Rajiv account. So write to Rajiv. Leave small space from the uh, line. Then write. to rajiv account rupees 1 lakh in both columns debit and credit columns then write the narration being goods purchased on credit do you understand this journal entry next transaction january 3rd cash deposited with the bank rupees 2 lakhs cash deposited so raja is depositing money with his banker in his own account he is deposits he uh, he deposits money deposits money into our bank account 
banker will be the receiver isn't it so here we are using our personal account role debit the receiver here banker is the receiver of that cash so banker bank account debtor then what goes out from the business cash goes out from the business to bank account so here we are using real account rule debit what comes in credit what goes out here cash goes out so to cash account amount is rupees 2 lakhs then write the narration being cash deposited into bank section january 20th borrowed a loan from bank rupees 1 lakh and a businessman may borrow loan from other i mean uh, from uh, private financial institutions or any other uh, from or from any other banks when the proprietor borrows loan from the bank the banker will credit the loan money into his loan account only otherwise his uh, um, savings or current account only he they'll deposit in the account only they won't bring the loan in the form of cash they'll credit the uh, loan money into the into the proprietor's bank account only afterwards the proprietor may withdraw the money from his bank account and he will use that money for his business purpose this is the procedure for every loan if we borrow any loan from the bank they won't give uh, give us cash they will only credit the money into our bank account so when we borrow loan from the bank bank account only receiving the money i mean banker only receiving the money so here we are using personal account rule bank account debtor debit the receiver bank banker is the receiver of bank loan account so bank account debtor then bank loan is a new liability it, it arises newly so bank loan is the liability is the responsibility for the proprietor if any liability arises that liability should be credited here we can say uh, we can use our nominal account rule what is our nominal account rule debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains here name of the income is bank loan account though it is a liability now at the time of borrowing when we receive the money into our bank it will be the gain or income not income it will be the gain so that gain must be credited so to bank loan account do you understand when we receive bank loan account it will be credited only in our bank account so banker is the receiver according to our real account rule bank account debtor then the bank loan amount is the gain for the business we have to use nominal account rule to bank account so we have to use nominal account rule to credit bank loan account to bank loan account 1 lakh do you understand january 22 withdrew from bank for personal use rupees 800 from the bank raja withdraws money for personal use when the proprietor withdraws money from the business for his personal use a proprietor uh, is the receiver of the money so drawings account must be debited according to our personal account proprietor is the receiver debit the receiver here we are using personal account rule so debit the receiver so uh, but we are using the word drawings in the name of drawings proprietor is receiving money so drawings account must be debited then 
he withdraws money from the bank so banker is the giver according to our personal account debit the receiver credit the giver here the banker is the giver so bank account must be credited write the word to bank account amount is rupees 800 do you understand children then write the narration being withdrawn for personal use next january 23 amount paid to rajiv in full settlement through neft 99000 who is Rajiv? See, uh, look at the transaction. On January 2nd, <coughs> January 2, we have, I mean, uh, Raja has purchased goods from Rajiv on credit basis for rupees 1 lakh. That Rajiv is now paid off, paid through NEFT by Raja, but for rupees 99,000 only. Out of 1 lakh, Raja is giving, is uh, transferring the amount. I mean, NEFT, uh, through NEFT means National Electronic Fund Transfer. From the, uh, using this facility, fund transfer facility, Raja is transferring the amount for only rupees 99,000. Out of 1 lakh, now he is giving 99,000 as a full settlement. Hereafter, Raja won't give any money to Rajiv happened to that uh, thousand rupees thousand rupees is taken by Raja as a discount though Rajiv is allowed or not Raja has taken the money as a discount so discount here that uh, thousand rupees will be known as discount received if any money received as a discount, that money will be the gain for the business. So here we have to use, we have to credit that discount received account according to our nominal account rule. Credit all incomes and gains. Isn't it? So here, how much is our gain? 1000 rupees so that 1000 uh, rupees must be credited see to discount received account 1000 rupees then how much amount we asked we are transferring through neft we means uh, Ra raja raja is transferring rupees 99000 through neft if we want to transfer through neft we have to deposit the money into our bank account into our bank account and we have to give the instruction to our banker to transfer the money to the concerned party. And how much money we, they have to transfer like that. We have to give standing instruction to the banker. If we give like that, the banker will act according to that. So if NEFT facility is followed, from our bank account only the money goes out. Our banker will be the giver of that money to the concerned party, concerned supplier. So we have to credit bank account according to our personal account rule. What is our personal account? Credit the giver. Here banker is the giver. So write to bank account. How much amount they are transferring? 99,000 they are transferring. So, Rajiv account. See, on um, March 2nd transaction, Rajiv account was credited. So, we have a responsibility to give Rajiv 1, one lakh rupee. Now, the responsibility is now paid off by giving rupees 99,000 as a full settlement. So now Rajiv account should be debited. Who is the receiver of the money? Rajiv is the receiver of the money. So Rajiv account must be debited. But this two amounts, 1000 rupees and 99,000 rupees, both are to be added and it will be written in debit side. So now Rajiv account is cancelled. See the second uh, Jan second transaction. Rajiv account was credited for rupees 1 lakh. Now Rajiv account was 
debited for rupees 1 lakh for that credit here we are giving equal debit so rajiv account is fully closed if any debit we will give any credit equal credit that account will be tallied so here rajiv account is tallied by debiting 1 lakh do you understand right, then write the narration paid to rajiv through net as full settlement then come to next transaction jan 25 paid club bill of the proprietor by check rupees 200 club bill is not the expense related to the business it is a expense of the proprietor but the proprietor is paying club bill from the business i mean from the business check he is paying his club bill so this is the drawings that will this will be treated as drawings so drawings account always must be debited write the date 25 drawings account debtor here raja is giving check for the club bill so for the check the banker will give the money so who is the giver banker is the giver so we have to credit bank account to bank account leave some space from the line then write to bank account amount is rupees 200 on uh, on both columns then write the narration being club bill paid then on january 26 paid electricity bill of the proprietor's house through debit card rupees 2000 electricity bill of the proprietor's house if he takes money for that for proprietor's house uses that money also will be treated as drawings so drawings account must be debited here he is paying that electricity bill through debit card they are already explained to you debit card is nothing but your atm card when we use our debit card the money will be debited from our bank account only banker will pay for that expenses so to bank account i mean bank account must be credited amount rupees 2000 in both columns then write the narration being house electricity bill paid mention the word house electricity bill if he pays his office electricity bill will not be treated as drawings it will come under office expenses but if the proprietor pays any money for his personal use or uh, his house use that will be treated as drawings january 31 lunch provided at free of cost to a charity rupees 1000 lunch provided at pre- free of cost here raja is doing hotel business if he gives if he provides lunch for a char- charity that lunch will be the stock or goods of the of that business isn't it because he is uh, doing hotel business for hotel business food items meals uh, tiffin or all goods or stocks stock here lunch is provided at free of cost without uh, receiving any money raja gives lunch to charity so raja gives lunch as a charity the charity is treated as loss or expense for the business so we have to debit the name of the loss 
according to our nominal account rule debit all expenses and losses here name of the loss is charity so charity account must be debited then in the name of charity what goes out he is giving he is providing lunch so what goes out go, things go i mean a stock goes out so we have to credit stock account according to our real account credit what goes out here i am uh, you can use the word stock or purchases or goods right two stock account or right two purchases account or right two goods account amount rupees 1000 in both columns do you understand charity is also uh, loss for the business the name of the loss is charity so we have to debit charity's account debtor according to nominal account rule then stock goes out here we are using real account rule then write the narration being lunch provided to charity come to the last transaction same day january 31 bank levied charges for locker rent rupees 1000 if we have any locker facility with our banker for that we have to pay locker rent to them we no need to pay in the form of cash that locker rent will be debited from our bank account in quarterly or halfly or annually they'll debit the money from our bank account so here the name of the expense is locker rent otherwise bank charges according to our nominal account rule debit all expenses and losses here the name of the expense is bank charge otherwise locker rent so debit bank charges account or locker rent account debtor then who is the giver of the money banker from our bank account only they'll debit the money so banker is the giver so bank account must be credited right to bank account 1000 rupees in both columns then write the narration being locker rent paid do you understand children like this we have to pass journal entries for all the transactions hope you will understand the sum thank you